Hey guys, this is how you keep your kids occupied during a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Get your butt over here. So, I went today and picked up a basketball goal. This is an old goal off of a, technically it's out of a prison actually, but uh, it's an old playground style goal. And we're going to get it put up, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That way we, that way they have something to do while they're uh, stuck here at the house, keep them busy, keep them occupied, get them outside at least. So we're going to try and get the whole dug tonight, and at least get the concrete poured in it. And they cut. I don't know if you can see it over there, but they actually cut the post off on that goal, so it's short. So I've got another pole that I'm going to slide up inside of it. Then I'm going to take you along and show you how we put this thing together. But we're going to get our hole dug tonight, get our concrete poured, and get our first post, our, our post that's going to go up on the inside in the hole. That way uh, the concrete can be setting up, and then we can prep the other posts. So they're getting... A... Guess what, buddy? I have blood on. <laughs> <laughs> there. Got We've got the wheelbarrow. I've got 320 pounds of quick creep in the back of the truck, and we're going to get a hole dug and get some concrete poured tonight. So hang in there. We'll take you along for the ride. Well, last night we managed to get the post concrete in the ground, but it was a little dark. And you can see the size of the hole we dug. Down below that little bit of dirt, there's four 80 pound sacks of quick creep um, poured in there. So that ought to be. That hole's about 32, 33 inches deep. That'll be a big enough slug of concrete to keep this thing from coming out of the ground. Now, next thing I need to do is get the rest of the goal in the garage on some saw horses, and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do in order to lock it to this post and be able to plumb it and keep it from moving around too much. So, we'll get it in there, get it up on the saw horses, and then we'll bring you back. This is what we're working on now. You can see, I've got it leaned up on my trailer in here, in the garage. I've drilled six holes. Two here, two on this side, one right down here, one further up, and same here. And the idea is, I have these half inch by two inch full thread bolts. I've got six bolts, I've got a dozen nuts, and I'm going to drop them through the hole like this, weld this nut to the post in all three places, then I'll have a second nut that will thread onto the bolt, but I'm, I'm using this to protect the threads and center it up in the hole right now. That's why I've got the, the bolt through there. Once I get that welded on, we'll take the bolts out, we'll put another nut on each one of them, and basically double nut them. And once we set this over our smaller post, because our, sm our other post is going to go up inside here, we can actually use these bolts to adjust for plumb and to lock it in position and then probably what I'll end up doing to keep it from dropping to from keep it from coming down the post is I'll actually weld a just a, a small stub on the back side of the post that's in the ground just to help support the weight of this once we get our height set but this will allow us to set our height and to adjust it for plumb and lock it in place this post as you can see when they removed it from the ground they just cut it off so it's not it, it, I wouldn't get a full 10 foot from the rim to the ground if I didn't do something like this. Give me just a second here, and I'm going to get to welding. Well, guys, just a side note. If you're ever welding on a galvanized post like this, make sure you grind all the galvanizing away. You don't want to breathe that.
We've got all our nuts welded on. Now I'm going to take it. We're going to load it up on the trailer. Uh, we'll get all the bolts out. Get the other nut put on each bolt. And then once we slide it down over the post, we'll monkey with putting the bolts back in. Well, somehow I missed getting the post set, but not a big loss there. We actually had to take the backboard off because it was too heavy. So now we're mounting the backboard. And we found the easiest way to do that was to set it in the bed of my son's truck. And then the three of us lift it up there and actually tighten the clamps down. Uh, we also had to straighten the net out. Replace a couple bolts that were rusty, not a big deal. Um, but you'll see us here in a second once we get that all set up. We actually pull the truck forward. Take a floor jack and a 4x4 four four post. And that's what we used to actually jack the rim up to set the height before we tightened all the bolts down to the post and plumbed, plumbed and leveled the rim. When we got the post plumb, we got the rim level. Um, and thankfully everything worked out all right. As you can see here, we're jacking the post up, so... Getting, a, getting the actual rim height set at 10 feet above the ground. So it's, it is regulation. Well guys, I don't know how much of this I got on the time lapse, but as you can see, we got it up. We, you see the floor jack, we actually used a floor jack and a eight foot four by four and some other blocking to actually lift that up and set the height. And then we lock it down with our uh, bolts our three bolt or our six bolts there on the post locked them down. It's holding the height up for us, so they're enjoying it or attempting to. They're not. That ball is really bouncing. Practice makes perfect, I guess, and they need it. So they're having fun. Do me a favor, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Questions, put them in the comment section. We'll see you on the next one, guys.